I'm Susie Decker, and I'm auditioning for Elizabeth Bennett. You can be at no loss, Miss Bennett, to understand the reason of my journey hither. I am not at all able to account for it. However insincere you may choose to be, you shall not find me so. My character has ever been celebrated for its sincerity and frankness. I was told that your sister was not the only Bennet on the point of being most advantageously married, but that you, that Miss Elizabeth Bennet, would, in all likelihood, be soon united to my nephew. Though I knew it must be a scandalous falsehood, I instantly resolved on setting off for this place, that I might make my sentiments known to you. If you believed it to be impossible, I wonder that you took the trouble of coming so far and of calling upon my family in the middle of the night. To insist upon having you declare that there is no foundation for it. Has my nephew made you an offer of marriage? Your ladyship has declared him to be impossible. It ought to be so. It must be so, if he retains the use of his reason. But your arts and allurements may, in a moment of infatuation, make him forget what he owes to himself and to his family. If I have, I should be the last person to confess it. Miss Bennet, I am almost Darcy's nearest relation and am entitled to know all his concerns. But you are not entitled to know mine. Let me be rightly understood. This match to which you have the presumption to aspire can never take place. Mr. Darcy is engaged to my daughter. If he is so, you can have no reason to suppose that he would make an offer to me. The engagement is of a special kind. It is a union planned while they were in their cradles. If there is no other objection to my marrying your nephew, I shall certainly not be kept from it, knowing that his mother and aunt were planning a marriage between him and his cousin well before either of them were capable of forming words of their own. Honour, decorum, and prudence shall keep you from it. You will be censured, slighted, and despised by everyone connected to him. These are heavy misfortunes. But a wife of Mr. Darcy must have such extraordinary sources of happiness that there can be little cause for her distress. Obstinate, headstrong girl, tell me once and for all, are you engaged to him? I am not. And will you promise me never to enter into such an engagement. I will make no such promise. I beg to be importuned no further on the subject. Thank you.